I'm Allison from MuchMusic.com, and I'm here with Kevin Duran, the bad guy from Real Steel. Well, that's your interpretation. You don't think you're a bad guy yet? Well, if somebody, if you made a bet with someone, yeah, right, that's and, true. And, and then they run away with the money and they owe you $20,000. That's true. Right? And you might have a family to feed. That's true. So who's the bad guy? That's true. But you also try, you do try to kind of skip out on something at the end, too, when your bet doesn't go so well. Oh, I watched the movie. <laughs> yeah, you got me there. Yeah. But maybe I was running to the truck to get the money. Yeah, there. to an ATM. It's possible. That gives you money in the thousands. Yes. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. I met him on Wednesday. How and cool it, is that? at this first screening that yeah. I saw of this movie. And and I mean I was an idiot, a blubbering idiot. I couldn't do that. I tried to articulate what I was thinking, but I was kind of an idiot. And anyways he, he went in to uh this whole thing about how you didn't think Ricky was a bad guy. Really? Well, I guess I'm going to have to retract it if Steven No, I thought, I thought, wow, I, I, guess I thought, you know, I am the mm -hmm. bad guy, but then, you know, when he said, you know, he welched on you, so of course yeah. you had to go get your money kind of thing, you know, I mean, he still does it in a nasty way. Yeah. I didn't have to bring all my buddies to help <laughs> me about Yeah, there were a few there. Yeah. And it's not the first time you and Hugh have tumbled on screen. No, no, yeah, second time. Yeah. Do you think you yeah. fared better this time around? Um, I did, but I can't um, take too much credit for it since I had other guys uh, holding him down as I was kicking him in the face. <laughs> Technicality. Technicality, yeah, yeah. But I did get the upper hand in this one. Yeah. But... And you two are so great together. You have these scenes where you square off against each other at like the rodeo and stuff. And I thought, you've got great chemistry, but also just physically it makes sense to put you two together. Yeah. Because you both look... Normal. Instead of making the other person look so short. Right. Yeah, because he's such a big fella too. And uh, um, but yeah, there's a, there's there's a great chemistry. There's a great ease. Mm -hmm. um, we're both uh, always super prepared. Um, so if we need to dance within the the structure of what's written, then we can because we're fluid and mm -hmm. we know we know our stuff. So it's, it's just just total pleasure. Yeah. I was talking a little bit earlier to Sean Levy, mm -hmm. and. Really, except for Hugh, it's a very Canadian movie. I know. How fun is that? How cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. And did you and Evangelina work together on Lost, or because I don't think you were in scenes together? I chased her through the jungle. Okay. And that was about it. Yeah. And and uh, but I I did get to know her a little bit when uh, I was doing that chase, and she was just such a a, a cool, articulate, intelligent, um, well-read. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a person. I, I was really excited that, that she was doing this movie. Yeah, it's a great she's cast. She's amazing in it. She she's is. She's really great. And um, you get to play a cowboy, which I think that would be so fun to play a cowboy. I know, I know, I know. I always used to, I used to pretend I was a cowboy when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to be a cowboy, and uh, I've, I've had a couple of opportunities now to put mm -hmm. on a cowboy hat and yeah. it's just Now you're a cowboy so in the future in this one. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're still cool. Yeah, it's still future. great drawl. Yeah. yeah. So how did you get involved in the project? Um, my agent handed me some scripts uh, when I first signed with them and this was one of the first ones that I read. Yeah. And, and was I, Spielberg already signed on for it? Oh yeah. Do you recast the name Steven Spielberg or do you say yes I'm going to do it? Um. Well, it's funny because I got offered uh, this and I Am Number Four at the same time, which oh, were both right. Uh, right. Uh, Mr. Spielberg. Um, but you hadn't met him before, Brian Number Four. I had never met him, but he 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 knew my work enough to offer me Number Four. Um, but I auditioned for Real Steel, so mm -hmm. I ended up doing them simultaneously. Very cool. Which was really just yeah. such a gift. Yeah. And yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> And there's, there's one scene in the beginning of the film where you're kind of in the rodeo, I guess you'd call it, or a fair, and there's a bull and a robot. And I thought, why are those things really there? Because you're kind of right in the middle of them. Right. Was that a real bull? Because it gets tossed around quite a bit. There was a real bull. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there for most of the shooting of the, of, of the bull. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I was there for a lot of the robot stuff. They had this like massive kind of robot slash Motley, he, he moved a little bit, but then mm -hmm. when you see him in the movie, you're like, oh my gosh, look yeah. at this movement and this swagger, and so cool. It know? is. It's, uh, it really gets the, the heart pumping, yeah. you know, um, really fun. And it's it's a boxing movie, 
It's, mm. it's many things. One of the things is it's a boxing movie, and Sugar Ray Leonard was on set. Yeah. You guys. Did he help you with your fight scene at all? Oh, I wish. I wish. Yeah. No, I, I, I actually, uh, I just met him uh, Wednesday, the same night that mm -hmm. I met uh, Mr. Spielberg. So it was just uh, that. That was a, that was a heck of a night for me to shake hands with both those uh, icons. Oh, definitely. Um, and are you a boxing fan? Are you a sports movies fan? Oh yeah, yeah. That, my first movie was a sports movie. It was a hockey movie called Mystery Alaska. That's uh, right. Back in the day, I, I, I'm I'm always up for for a sports movie. Yeah. Um, but I love I love watching boxing. I, I get into the MMA stuff as well. Yeah. Love watching George St. Pierre. Oh, he's he's just such a bad dude. Yeah. So good. And uh, and uh, watching the Klitschko brothers box. I'm a big fan of theirs. Yeah. Too, so. What did you think of the idea of robots boxing in the future? Because I thought it's not the worst idea. Because it's a, it's a pretty violent sport. It's People get hurt quite a bit with most sports. Yeah. If you think about it, I mean, as humans, we're constantly wanting more and more. More. Mm -hmm. So you go from the boxing, which is still big, but MMA yeah. is taking a lot, and it's a more extreme. Yeah. Right. Then what's after MMA? Yeah. Then, you know, with robots, you have the full capability to get them to rip each other's heads off. Because mm -hmm. there's nothing morally or ethically yeah. wrong with that, and unless we go back to gladi gladiatorial <laughs> days. You know, and your character kind of talks about that. You know, you guys are going to see more gore in this fight and stuff. Uh, when you're in the road, you're, you're getting the crowd amped up. And mm. I thought that was interesting that that was pointed out where it yeah. is kind of the next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not just a boxing movie. It's it's a great movie about the father-son dynamic. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful movie in theaters October 7th. Don't yeah. miss Real Steel.